Hi, welcome back. This is Zim again from RedScore.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about validation in Play Framework. So let's get start. To add validation in your project, let's go to our book model. And in this book model, we are going to write validation logic for our book model class. For example, if you want this to be required then you can use annotation called required from play dot data dot validation dot constraints and let me copy this and let's add it add price and author as well let's go ahead and refresh our page and now we can see that these fields are required now let's uh, make this id field required as well now if we will try to create book it will generate some error but it will not create any book let's verify it we have this empty book from our previous tutorial but we are not able to create empty book again let me show you other validations for example if you want title to be let's say maximum length of uh, 255 characters and minimum length of 5 characters then you can specify it here like this and for example if you want price to be between five dollar to maximum of hundred dollar if we submit this we are not able to create book but we are getting this annoying exception let's figure it out how we can remove it let's go to our books controller and here we are getting this request and we are binding this form from request and after that we are getting book after this form and then we are saving it before getting book out of this form we will verify that if this form has errors if this form has error then what we are going to do is we are going to return response with bad request and we will load our form again so our form is create dot render and then we will pass our form again book form perfect now let's try it again let's try to create this book we are not able to create this book and as you guys can see that it shows this field is required this field is required now for example if we fill wrong value in this field let's say if we type 500 and let's try it again then it says value should be less than 100 which is exactly what we want so our validation is working now it would be nice if we show simple message here uh, like uh, please uh, correct this form below uh, so that user will know that uh, he messed up and uh, he should uh, fill this form again so let me show you what we can do here before returning this response let's generate some error message flash first will be the key of the error message let's say danger and second will be the actual error message that we want to generate which in our case is please correct the form below okay to display this flash message in our view let's go ahead and go to our layouts file and let's show this uh, flash message let's say if flash dot 
contains key and the key that we write here is danger if flash message with this uh, danger key exist then we are going to display it class alert alert danger danger now let's go to our page again refresh it now you can see that uh, we are able to show this uh, flash message let's create a simple close button to close this flash message create now with the help of this close button we can close this this was for displaying error message but if we want to show success message then we can do this as well success and this will be success now let's go back to our save method let's copy it when we save our book our into our database then we will display flash message and the key will be success and we will say that book saved successfully let's try it again with the valid values validation price will be 32 dollar and author will be play let's click create and we are able to show this success message now the little problem here is that if for example we want to show some information then what we have to do is we have to copy this code again and we will type info here info here and info here and if we want to some error message some warning here then we can again copy this and type warning and warning again so if we want to show all different kinds of message with different colors then we have to do this but there is a smart way to do this let me show you key array of danger info success and warning with the help of this loop we will get these strings one by one in this key value and then we will verify that if flash dot contains key and then we will pass our key if flash message contains this key it can be danger info success warning anything then what we will do is 
we will simply display message from that key and we will generate class with the help of this key so let's say key now with the help of this loop we are able to generate all of this code so according to me this is best approach let's remove this and let's say this will be form book book form book book is equal to book form dot get and before getting this book out of this form we will verify that if this has any errors if it has any error then we will generate flash message with our key which is danger then we will uh, pass the error message again please correct the form below and then we will retract with the bad request and we will pass edit view render and we will pass our book form which has errors in it and if we are able to update our book then we will generate flash message with success key and the message would be book updated successfully perfect let's update this book uh, let me remove it let's verify it now we can see that uh, our validation is working now let's say abc again and let's update our book and it's working i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching